Hi guys, the Tories are losing the likes of Ian Dale. So with the massive swing to the far right, the Conservatives are alienating a whole section of the electorate, those who call themselves centre-right. Dale explained when he appeared on the Politics Live show the problem Conservative voters like him now have when they watch the psychodrama surrounding Lee Anderson, Suella Braveman and Liz Truss. The Tories have in all senses abandoned the centre ground to chase the far right vote. Doing so they hand people like Dale over to either Labour or to a bigger extent the Liberal Democrats. Have a listen. I said, OK, but, but Tom, <clears throat> what, what, when it gets to the point that, I mean, I, I, I identify as being on the centre right. Mm. I would, mm. would say economically I'm a Thatcher on social, <clears throat> probably a little bit more left. But if the Conservative Party loses people like me, which I tell you, it's ah. in great danger of doing. I mean, after the, after the F off back to France comment, the first time in my life I thought, can I really support a party that has a deputy chairman that utters things like this? Now, I don't know where my vote's going to go at the next election, and I've never said that before a general election before. And if, you, if you're losing sort of people like me who've grown up in the Conservative Party, who, who are on the right... I mean, God knows what's going to happen uh, in November. Well, well, doesn't that worry you? Well, in, terms of, in terms of that remark, um, F off back to France remark, I mean, you know, I'd never... I, I mean, personally, would I use language like that? Yeah. No. But, but do you want to be but in a party do, but, with... But do... do I, because you're but, smart? But, but do I emphasise... Do, but do I sympathise with the extreme frustration and anger at, you know, tens of thousands of but it's deputy chairman people of the illegally party. enter the country if you, every if, year if, if and you're staying a, here from France. If you're a I gobby backbencher, fine. The, the Conservative Party has always had Peter Bruinvels, Anthony Beaumont Dark, going back to the 80s, people who shout their mouth off on the back benches. He was deputy chairman of the Conservative Party and number 10 supported him. An utter disgrace. <laughs> Tom Hunt trying to deny reality here, refusing to accept this is what's happening. Instead of actually saying, yeah, you're actually right, we need to look at what's happened to the Conservative Party, but this this type of rhetoric is damaging them deeply. But what Ian Dale said was really, was really interesting because he said, these people used to exist on the back benches. There were people who, loudmouths, racist bigots, they existed within the Conservative Party, but they were not elevated to positions of power. Lee Anderson was... And as I said in other videos, Lee Anderson w had the whip removed not because of the comments, but because of the backlash to the comments from within the Conservative Party. Now, these people don't understand, or they don't seem to care, that by chasing the racist, bigoted vote that is heading in the direction of Re Reform UK, you're abandoning the centre ground. And most Conservatives are in the centre. The, the members are, of course, to the far right. But people who actually come out and vote, the people you need to cast their ballot on the election day, are centre-right. And you have abandoned those people. So what are they going to do? They're, they're not happy with what's happening with the party. They're looking at Lee Anderson put into a position of power, then removed because of racist and bigoted comments. And then Suella Braveman removed and then put reinstated. Liz Truss Tra trash the economy and has should have gone away and and never been heard of again uh, allowed to go to the US and embarrass herself and embarrass her party these people should not be in positions of power in the first place but when it's identified that they are idiots they should be alienated in a sense they should be put to the back benches and forgotten about or the whip removed from them but instead they were put into positions of power. And the Conservatives, of, of course, doing that in order to chase the right-wing vote, the far-right vote. Now, obviously people who are concerned about what's happening to the Conservative Party will either stay at home, the, the centre-right people that like Ian Dale, they will stay at home or they will say, look, I need to punish the party. It's going too far to the right. We need to bring it back. How can we achieve that? Well, I'm going to vote for the Liberal Democrats or maybe the Labour Party. If the, the, the Tories on the ground hear from me that well, I'm going to vote for the Liberal Democrats because the party's gone too far to the right, then when they get trashed at the election, then they'll rethink about it. They'll think about, OK, we need to move back to the centre. But I actually don't think that's what's going to happen because some of the safe seats are in constituencies like Suella Braverman's, Liz Truss's. And these people will remain in Parliament after the election and they if they are still in parliament of course they will likely be the next leader of the conservative party so that 
I think the Conservative Party in opposition will be even further to the right, instead of returning to the centre where they can actually pick up votes. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.